Good evening and welcome to War Thunder's website. I am Old Dead Man. We've got another dev blog coming your way today for the upcoming Battle Pass season, and this one is for the Voroshilov Light Cruiser for the Russian Tech Tree. Looks like we got some interesting things coming your way, but I uh, just thought I'd observe one thing before we did. When I started to put together the information for today's dev blog, uh, my computer was tied up uh, doing some uh, some actual you know paying job items. Uh, so, uh, I wasn't, uh, able to really get into it. So I started, you know, to do it the old fashioned way. I started to print out pictures and the, and things. And I printed off articles with all the information on the, uh, the ships in question. But you'll notice that, that, uh, you know, this picture looks about right. This one looks a little bit like they cut off the edge of the, uh, the page here as does this one. I, I don't know what happened to my poor printer. It certainly uh, uh, did not make me happy with this Wikipedia article, which it managed to run off the bottom of the page. So I'll mess with that later to fix. But in the meantime, we're going to go back to the standard way of doing things. So the Vrashilov was a Project 26 Kirov-class cruiser of the Soviet Navy that served during World War II briefly during the Cold War and finally used as a missile test bed ship. She was laid down in October of 1935, launched in June of 1937, and completed in June of 1940, then sent into service during World War II. In 1941, the Voroshilov covered Soviet destroyers bombarding Konstanta and bombarded Axis positions near Odessa. In November, she was bombed by Ju-88s while in Novorossiysk harbor and had to be towed to Poti for repairs. In March 1942, the Voroshilov was again active in combat operations, shelling Axis positions near Feodosia, but had to return for repairs after being bombed by Ju-88s in early April. In May, she was once again active in providing fire support for Soviet troops around Kerch and Taman Peninsula. One of her turbines broke down in late May, and she was once again back for repairs. In December 1942, the Voroshilov was damaged by Romanian mines while bombarding Snake Island. And may I just observe that is an awesome name for an island. And then returned to Poti for repairs. I'm kind of detecting a pattern here, if you kind of see what I'm saying. Once back out in service, she provided gunfire support at Malaya Zemlia in January 1943. She was withdrawn from active operations along with all other large Soviet naval units in October 1943. The Voroshilov was awarded the Order of the Red Banner in July 1945. After the war, modernization efforts were postponed, but she was instead converted into a test bed for missile development starting in 1956. She was recommissioned as OS-24 in 1961 after a lengthy conversion, modernized again in the mid-1960s, and finally converted to a floating barracks in 1972 under the designation PKZ-19. She was sold for scrap in March 1973. The Voroshilov was 191.3 meters long, 17.66 meters wide, and displaced 7,980 tons standard. Her six oil-fired Yarrow Normand boilers drove two shafts at up to 122,500 shaft horsepower that moved her along at a very nice 36.72 knots. The Voroshilov was armed with nine 180mm B1P guns in three triple turrets, six single turret 100mm B34 dual-purpose guns, six 45mm 21K anti-aircraft guns, four 12.7mm machine guns, 96 mines, 20 depth charges, and six 533mm 39YU torpedo tubes in two triple launchers. She was equipped with radars in 1944. She could carry two KOR-1 float planes. One source states that the 45mm guns were replaced before 1944 with 37mm guns, plus an additional 10 mounts added. Another source states that it retained three of the 45mm guns and added 14 37mm guns, plus an additional 8 50 cals. The Voroshilov was crewed by up to 872 officers and men. In War Thunder, the Voroshilov will be joining the Russian Rank 4 Blue Water Naval Tree as an event vehicle. 
She will come with her 9 180 mm guns, 6 100 mm guns, 13 37 mm auto cannons, 12 heavy machine guns, and her torpedo launchers. So what do you think about the Voroshilov? Is she going to be what brings you into the Battle Pass fold this time? Are you looking forward to uh, getting that grind in there for it? This is coming in as an event vehicle, not a premium, so you will have to grind that puppy out while facing possibly top-tier units. So keep that in mind as well. And would you like to see me do a dev blog where I'm holding up pictures like this instead of uh, doing the normal, the normal uh, stuff? Let me know if you like this uh, by giving me a like on the video. You have a great rest of the day, and we will see you in War Thunder. Now over here, you will see the uh, previous two uh, Battle Pass vehicles. They're dev blogs right here. So go ahead and click on those to see what you have coming your way. Have a good one.